Queensland researchers have started a three-month trial investigating the impact of heat waves on feedlot cattle. Dairy farmers are also looking for ways to reduce heat stress, with severe weather hurting profits. It's one o'clock and these dairy cows are feeling the heat of the blazing Queensland sun. They can lose about three litres of milk per day in soaring temperatures. So we're looking at across 300 cows, you know, you could be up to a thousand litres a day, maybe 55, 60 cents, you know, this is 500 odd dollars. To ease the losses, farmer Paul Roderick is trying to cool his cows down, building large shade structures for the animals to feed under and installing sprinklers to reduce heat stress in the afternoon sun. Fans are the next step. The cows can't cool themselves, they don't sweat, so they, they need evaporative cooling, so the cows need to be wet and then they need to be dried, either by air movement or fans. Down the road at the University of Queensland's Gatton campus, researchers have started a trial probing the effects of heat stress on feedlot cattle. We haven't got enough information really on the impact of major heat events on, on cattle. So it's not just the frequency of them, it's also the intensity. So we're seeing more intense um, heat events. The data collected is part of a five-year study. Measurements are taken and a radio transmitter is inserted into the stomach of each steer. Transmit body temperature every 10 minutes. After 60 days in the feedlot, the cattle will be constantly monitored in climate-controlled rooms, which mimic a heat wave. Well, you'll see body temperature go upwards over 40 degrees and heading towards 41, possibly higher. The findings will be handed back to the feedlot industry to help improve both performance and welfare. Ellie Sibson, ABC News, Gatton.